Hello everyone, welcome to my channel where I talk about personal finance. Today, I'm going to talk about five money mistakes to avoid. Before I get into the video, be sure to subscribe and leave a comment below saying I subscribe. I will try to personally reply to your comments. The first money mistake to avoid is not having an emergency fund. Having an emergency fund is very important and can save you from a lot of financial difficulties. An emergency fund will allow you to cover expenses without having to go into debt or dip into your savings, which can lead to more financial problems in the future. The second money mistake to avoid is not saving for retirement. Not saving for retirement during lifetime can lead to a situation where you do not have enough money saved up. You cannot just rely on the government to fund your living expenses in retirement. This could even be more of a problem as more and more people find themselves working part-time or on contract. There are many reasons why people do not save for retirement. People may not realize that they are not saving enough or they may not have time to gather information on how much to save or they may live in a country where it is difficult to do so. But there is also the possibility that people who do not save for retirement know what they are doing and prefer the present over the future. They may feel that living life to the fullest now outweighs waiting for something in the future. The third money mistake to avoid is getting a loan for something you can afford to buy. If you have a good credit score, then getting a loan for something you can afford to buy outright, it's not necessary. It is important to understand that the interest rates of loans are higher than the interest rates on cash. If you are able to afford the purchase in cash without difficulty, then it is best that you do so and save money. To summarize, if your credit score is good and you can afford an item in cash or with no financing fee, then taking out a loan to pay for it will cost more in terms of finance charges than if you were to buy it outright. The fourth money mistakes to avoid is putting off buying a house or paying off debt. The decision to buy a house or pay off debt is a tough one. For some people, it is hard to move forward with their lives because they are focused on the future. However, they need to make sure that they have enough financial stability before moving forward. The first step is the process is to figure out how much money you can afford in monthly payments to avoid overspending and debt. Try living in an apartment or renting while saving for your own home. It takes time to save up enough money, but it is worth the wait. The decision to put off buying a house can be costly. 
you will need to make a lot of sacrifices, such as not saving for retirement or spending on personal expenses. It is often advised that when you have student loans, credit card debt, or other debt, that you should pay off these debts before you buy a home. The reason for this is because usually it takes the average person 10 to 15 years to pay off their home and this could stretch out your debt repayment period. The fifth money mistake to avoid is ignoring the forces that affect financial status like inflation and economic cycles. Inflation is an important topic in economics. It is the increase in the general price of goods and services over time. Economic cycles are a series of periods where there is a boom and bust cycle. Inflation, economic cycles, and their effects on finance are important to understand when looking at wealth growth over time. Inflation and economic cycles affect people's financial status. Inflation is the rate at which the price for goods and services are going up. When this happens, people need more money to buy things that they use to be able to afford easily with less money. One example of this is when something like a house used to cost $100,000, but because it has been in inflation for 10 years and the rate of inflation is 10%, now cost $110,000. Economic cycles are periods in time when there is an increase or decrease in economic activity and it affects many people's financial status by changing the prices of things they buy and sell. If someone paid attention to these forces that affect their financial status, then they might be able to make better decisions about how to go about spending their money. When deciding if an investment is a good idea, many people ignore the forces that affect financial status. This may be because they are not sure what these forces are or because it's just a lot more fun to be optimistic about the market. The forces that affect financial status for investors are inflation, interest rates, supply and demand, and the business cycle. These forces can determine whether a stock is undervalued or overvalued. That's the five money mistakes to avoid. Thanks for watching this video and do not forget to subscribe to my channel.